I've been putting this video off for quite a while now, but it's finally time. Whatever happens today, this video will mark the end of the great Myrmacine Ant experiment. Hello everyone, this is Siddharth from Ants India, and today is one of the most biggest videos that I've ever made. That grammar's wrong. Today is the thrilling conclusion to the great Myrmacine Ant experiment. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more ant goodness, and I hope you enjoy. Before I start this video, here's a little backstory. Once I got into ant keeping, I found out the nuptial flight schedules of a few ants in my area. Turns out that the nuptial flights of Solenopsis ants were right around that time, so I was really excited and it went down every day to find them. The first queen I found, she hadn't actually made it, and so she didn't actually you know, gave any eggs and she died. But the second queen I got was a complete surprise and I was really excited for it. However, her story did have a sad ending, as in her first batch of eggs, which would have grown into her nanitix, actually died of a fungus. And I was really bummed out at the time, but the silver lining to the story was that I found a third queen. And that queen actually laid eggs and those eggs hatched into nanitix on the 1st of January this year and I was really really excited about this and that is actually what got me into making the Ants India Ant channel. But then I thought about the second queen that I had gotten and I didn't really want to kill her. I mean it felt wrong to kill a queen after she had already lost so much. So I decided to keep her alive and use her for a sort of experiment per se. And that experiment was the great Myrmacine ant experiment. So what I did was I kept the queen alive, got queen number three to a respectable colony size of around 9 to 10 workers, and then I decided to combine the two queens. So the way I did this was I got the queen, uh, queen number two into a test tube setup and the main queen with the colony into another test tube setup and I joined the two get together and waited to see what happened basically and it was a really long process I mean it took a few hours and I wasn't able to really get much video of it so right now you're probably seeing a time lapse of the queen either inside her uh, test tube setup or a video of the queen actually inside the mini outworld that I made for her but in the end the queen slowly made her way to the other test tube. She's inside the art world setup. And sadly enough, I didn't witness what happened next. But the next time I checked on them, both the queens were inside the setup. And they were alive. And I was excited. The next day I checked up on them and the queens were still alive and I was ecstatic. And due to this fact, I've decided on a name for this ant colony. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, witness the Gemini Empire. The Gemini Empire is called so well because of its two queens and I really like the name so I decided to give this colony this name. I hope you like this video and do consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And also comment on what do you think will happen next in the saga of the Gemini Empire. Personally, I've heard that it's possible that as the colony grows, the two queens might fight, but I'm willing to take that risk. So what do you think might happen next? Comment below and let me know. As for now, thank you for watching. This has been Siddharth from Ants India. All hail and long live the Gemini Empire. Goodbye.